All right, y'all, what's up? Okay, listen, I don't know how this is gonna turn out. I'm gonna give it my best shot, one shot on this video. I'll sell my cell phone, so I hope nobody call. I just wanna tap in. I know I've been writing a lot, but I wanna say this on video. It, hopefully, it'll, it'll, it'll get to people better because not all people read, all right? I just want to drop in and say something about men, women, relationships, and then black people. All right. So today, these relationships are fucking people up. I can't tell you exactly why, but in my own opinion, it's starting with people's weakness and it starts with how they were raised in their house. In my opinion, okay, my opinion. Um, when it comes to, I can start with men, females or males, but I'm gonna just start with females. In my opinion, when it comes to females, okay, when a female is raised in a house with no father, okay, no father, and a mom that showed nothing but disrespect towards that father who wasn't in the house, Raising a female with no father in the house, that female child is going to be raised with having no respect for men, okay? She was raised in a household with no father or maybe different boyfriends coming in and out. She's not going to have respect for men. A female who was raised in a household with no father and maybe not maybe but she's the oldest daughter and let's just say her brothers are younger than her so the mom who hated the dad preaches negative negativity towards towards men and then the oldest daughter which is probably the one you're dating has two younger brothers. Those two younger brothers were raised submitting to females. So those, those two women, the mom and the older daughter, they're going to, they're, they're grooming to have no respect for men. And that's the one you're probably dating. She can love a man later in life. But she ain't going to have respect for him. This is my own opinion. But you might be relating to it. It might be answering some questions. I'm not saying that's a bad woman. I'm just saying you need to look at the science of shit. So what I said was. A woman who was raised with no man in the house. She's not going to respect men. Now. A man today who was raised in a household strictly by his mom with no man in the house. Chances are if she is a woman who was more raised on the weak side of life. Let's just say she was raised by a woman herself. She don't know how to raise that boy. And that boy is going to be weak. And that boy is going to be a mama's boy. And that's probably who you dating. A weak ass mama's boy. And maybe you was that chick who was raised to not respect men. And here's the clashing. So it's the science that you need to look into when you meet somebody of how they were raised. So you'll know more of what you get involved with instead of just getting involved with it because the dick was good or the pussy was good. I can't, I don't think I can say that. I don't want to, I don't want to get this cut off, you know, but, um, who you dating today can have an extreme detrimental impact on your future. If you're listening to, if you're a man 
and you were raised without a dad in the house and you were listening to your mom growing up and you're going to carry that into your adulthood life submitting and listening to a woman you're going to end up dead you're going to end up dead or in jail and there's so much proof around you to prove that today you got to be a fucking you i don't want to cuss you got to be a man you got to man up and in some cases i'm gonna just let you know it's too late it's, pr it's probably too late because everything starts at home everything starts at home everything don't you dare let nobody tell you, you know, you the cause <laughs> of what's going on in their head or why they the way they are. Nah, they lived a full life before you, a full life in between seven years old to 15 years old. Those are extreme imprinting years. And things that really get injected four years old, five years old, six years old. There's stuff that goes on that people don't even realize have a strong impact on them. What prompted this? My life. Stuff that I see out there. Even what just happened at Cook's Corner. We don't know the complete details. But that dude flipped out. And I'm sure he didn't flip out just that night. There was a lot that added up to that. Prayers to everybody who was involved. Everybody. I've been to that place more times than I can count. Prayers to Rhonda. Prayers to Edwin. Prayers to the bartender, to the cook. I've been up there and I know everybody. And I'm so sorry that that happened. But people are breaking down. And these relationships and this weakness. And I'm sorry to see that that happened. Because I go there, I got so many calls last night from high school friends, family, people in motorcycle clubs, people from different motorcycle clubs who don't get along with each other, but different parties calling me. Everybody just seeing if everybody okay who know that might go to that place. So God blessing, I'm good and my whole club good. And it had nothing to do with motorcycle clubs. It had nothing to do with motorcycle clubs at all. But yeah, it's a biker bar. But sometimes things get infected by an outside entity and it makes motorcycle clubs look bad, you know? So people gotta be, you, I, I can say it, you gotta be strong. But you need something positive in your life. You need a positive influence. And when the spirit talks to you, you better start listening to it. I, it seems like there's this battle that's going on. And it, it, I'm not going to even say it seems like it. It's a battle going on, you know. And unfortunately, women have no role models. Women have no role models. Women don't have good friends. Women don't trust women. But yet men are trying to flock to them. That's why you see most females, they'll tell you, oh, I ain't got no, I ain't got, I don't, they'll say, I don't F with biatches. That's the first thing they say. Why? Because they know, they know way more than men know. So technically men look, men look stupid to them, <laughs> you know, and that's why they play you on it. I'm fighting for my masculinity. I'm going to stand strong on it every day. My mama taught me to be a man when I was a kid. She wasn't teaching me to be a boy when I was a kid. My mama taught me to be a man beyond being a boy. She never taught me to be a boy. She never taught me to be a kid. From a kid, she taught me to be a man, to look at stuff like a man, to handle stuff like a man. And I meet people today my age and I can see that they missed out on all that because their parents taught them wrong. I see it in females. I see it in men. And it ain't no change in that. I wish I can help everybody that was righteous. I wish 
more people gravitated to strength versus weakness. And that's why I said with pride, I got no love for the weak. I don't, got, I, I don't have no love for nobody who commits suicide. That's weak. And you can call it what you want to. I'm not offending nobody. But if somebody really wanted to commit suicide, do it and don't let nobody know you did it. Just come up missing. But don't do it looking for attention. You know, back in the day, in the tribal type era, when people got too old for the tribe, they walked off into the woods by themselves because they didn't want to be a weak leg to the tribe as they got older. Um, I do care about people, you know, and that's probably what's helping me still be alive today. I ain't no hater on nothing. I want to see everybody come up. God gives me more than what I need because he knows he uses me as a vessel to distribute it. I don't have no resume of hurting people. I defend myself in a certain type of way. I don't wake up looking for trouble. I wake up trying to avoid trouble every day. I wake up trying to avoid trouble every day. But I know God gives me the strength to defend myself. And I'll defend myself to the death of me because I know that's what I'm supposed to do. Friendships mean a lot to me. And that's why I take pride in me being the best that I can be to somebody. Just hoping that they'll give me that back. But it, always, it, don't, it don't happen that way. But at least I know I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. And maybe me being that person's friend for a little cert, certain portion of time maybe saved their life. So I did my job. I did God's job through me. And I got to just let that situation go. As far as I said, speaking on black people, I love black people and I wish black people loved themselves. But unfortunately, there's been a systematic poisoning through this government. And you're going to think I'm talking political and getting there. No, I'm just letting y'all know black people only represent 13% of the United States. And it's been like that since probably the fifties. That ain't right. And so now you got all these black people going to these stores, robbing them, running out, making us look bad. That's because this system has found how to control black people and how to make them make themselves look bad. And when I know we better than that, and I just wish my black people would wake up and stop. I ain't going to even say wake up. Just stop. Just stop. Stop falling for the shenanigans. You know, you ain't making me look bad. And let me correct that. You just doing yourself an injustice. I don't make all black people look good. So black people ain't going to make me look bad. I got relationships with certain individuals in organizations that I that that I created and I take pride in it. And what I do in life is not easily duplicated because if if it was everybody be doing it. But I do invite everybody to do what I'm doing. You know? But I know it ain't easy cuz I know it wasn't easy for me. I started one down when I was 24 years old. And that was 27 years ago. One down is my longest relationship I've ever had with anything in my life. And it will be the longest relationship that I've had with anything in my life. And I take pride in it. When I was 24, I got self-employed, tattooed on me to remind me I'll never work for nobody. Now, even though self-employed is a certain type of lifestyle, you do still have to answer up. But I told myself I'll never see myself clocking in to McDonald's, Taco Bell, wherever the fuck it was. You know, sitting there taking somebody's order with self-employed on me. So I made myself stay in a certain lane. Everybody out there got to do better. If you with somebody, man, stay with them. 
stay with them. Help teach each other. Help groom each other. Because the spirits put y'all together for a reason. Don't give up. Don't let no interference come in between that. Now, if somebody's beating you to beating you down, putting hands on you, abusing you, fucking you up, hey, you were supposed to get out of that a long time ago. But as we grow, it ain't no guarantee we're gonna grow together. But we can we can stay together, you know. So I am for relationships staying together. I hate to see people break up. I hate it. I'm honestly, I hate seeing people break up. I love to hear that people made it through something. Seriously, I love to hear people made it through something. So if you're in a relationship, work that shit out. Work that shit out. You know, um, if you in a relationship and you've told yourself or whoever your significant other that your significant other having sex with somebody else is the deal breaker, then you shouldn't have got married or even got with that person. Because don't you know that person was smashing on people before they even met you? So what I'm saying is that's not something, you, you shouldn't be that weak because if sex was such a factor of you breaking up, you shouldn't have got with them simply because they had sex with somebody else before they met you. Relationships will have their ups and downs and trials and tribulations. Some people have relationships and living a certain type of lifestyle with having sex with other people is the science that keeps them together. So what I'm saying is it's not foreign, but if that's not in your agreement, then it's not in your agreement. And I'm not trying to change this thing, but I'm just trying to say, be stronger than breaking up with somebody because of a situation. I'm sweating because I turned the AC off so it wouldn't be blowing in the back. You know, I could change it from sex. You know, if you want to get mad at your significant other because they looked at somebody, then you shouldn't be in a relationship. God gave us eyes to look at stuff. That's beyond your want to have them not look at somebody. Then you shouldn't be in a relationship. You want to get mad at somebody because they looking at something pornographic? Then you shouldn't be in a relationship. A man is built that way. You know? If you a man and you scored some chick who's made up in a certain type of way, don't get with her if you are consumed with jealousy. Men are going to look at her. It's natural. But if she's that chick who's desiring and requiring a lot of attention from all type of men everywhere she go, then brother, all she is is a catch and release. You fucked up by trying to wife that up. Not all women are built for relationships and not all men. Stand your ground. And what I mean, what I say by that is be strong. And if you don't want, know where it's at, you need to find that strength somewhere. Find that strength to help you be strong, to be strong in your relationship. Not to be strong to do damage to your relationship. To be strong to build yourself inside so you can be a better partner in your relationship. And if you're not, and, and, and if it, not, again, relationships not for everybody. Relationships not for everybody. This world is getting more toxic every day. And climatically, it's going to climax out. We don't know when. But it ain't going to just settle. This is a soda pop that's being shaken and shaken and shaken. It's going to pop at some point. And hopefully it's after you and me have lived the longest of the life we live in, in, in our 90s. I'm selfish in a certain type of way when I say that, but I'm just saying, let it happen after we live the longest of the life we're going to live. I'm not cursing your kids. After your kids, you know. But um, I hope everybody watched this video. And I hope it go viral. Let it go viral. Because this needs to touch everybody. I don't care what color skin you got. Black, white, Mexican, Chinese, Middle Eastern, whatever. 
We all in this together, together, together. Remember that. So much love and respect to everybody. Everybody stand strong. We here to help each other, not hurt each other. We here to help each other. I live my life doing the same pretty much stuff. And it's helped me. I think I'm not, I know it's helped me keep myself in a certain type of position in life. Okay. Be careful on who you take advice from. And I'm going to say this because I said it earlier. Men do not take advice from a woman. Do not take advice from a woman. I'm going to say it again. Men do not take advice from a woman. I ain't shooting your mama down. But as a man, do not take advice from a woman. Um, and be careful on it. If you do, but I'm telling you don't. Because right now, 80% of these women got they they ain't got no role models they ain't got no leaders they don't trust each other most women got no fr no friends or maybe one remember that no friends or maybe one and the one that they got ah, that's so so that's so so and out of those two girls one of them got a friend one of them is doing way better than the other one that's just facts so be strong, much love and respect. I hope everybody watched this. I welcome you to whatever they call forward this, share it, put it out there. Everything you hear from me is going to be about masculinity moving forward. And I welcome any man. I don't care what color skin you are, man. You got some type of troubles. Please call me. Get in touch with me before you do anything stupid in life. Anything stupid. And I'm going to tell you this in closing. On the motorcycle club life do not run out there joining a certain type of club because you just broke up with a chick don't do that no club wants your weak ass bullshit no club wants that join a club when everything is amazing for you you got your job together your domestic situation together you got things going good don't join a club when your life is fucked up no club wants your problems. No club wants your problems. All right, y'all. Much love and respect. My name is Goldie. One down. That's right. Orangetown, baby.